What compromises are made for UK products? Oh, we don't pick on the United Kingdom. I love the Brits. Uh, Mike in Royal Ascot, England. <laughs> That's not a pretentious sounding place and at all. The Royal Ascot. Um, he wants to know, and he says, since UK voltage is twice as high as in the United States, um, should I worry? Oh, get away! Should I worry that my PS unit will be compromised if I uh, buy it, since it's made in the United States? Nope, it shall not be compromised, and and we we love <laughs> we love the Brits. So, you know, what are the differences between? A unit that's made for 230 volts, 250 volts, or 100 volts, or 120 volts in the United States? And the answer is simply the way the transformer is wired, okay? So when we buy, uh, we, we buy all the same transformers, okay? Is, is like in, in our products, there's only one kind of transformer. It's the same one in the US, it's the same one in Britain. And what we do, is we wire them differently. So on the input of a transformer, this is where the AC comes in from the line, you have a coil of wire. Well, actually two coils of wire. So picture this, here, here's, here's one leg of the AC coming in and you picture this coil of wire and it stops here. And then another coil of wire coming down like this we form it like that, it actually looks like that on the schematic. And the AC goes between these, these two points, right? Now, if it's 220 volts, which is actually what the transformer is designed for, it looks just like this, and the voltage goes across. When we want to change it to be 120 volts, we take the two, I can't move that, we take the two windings and we put them in parallel. Okay, here or here. So with half the voltage, the windings are in parallel, with twice, they're in series. The amount of current the output of the, oops, the output of the, um, I'm sorry, the, at the other side of the, on the secondary side, the voltage is identical. So if we want 50 volts or 30 volts, then the input transformer makes that change and there's no difference. So here's another thing to think about. Um, it's, don't tell anybody in the U.S., but when we design these transformers, we design them primarily for overseas. Why? Because overseas, outside of the US, they use a frequency of 50 hertz as opposed to 60 hertz. Now we have 60 hertz over here because Nikola Tesla, who was our resident AC genius, was very superstitious. Everything had to be in threes. And there's a long story about it, you can look it up. But um, he couldn't handle the, you know, 50 hertz, it had to be a multiple of three. And that's how we wound up with 60 hertz. So overseas, 50 hertz is the standard. In order for a transformer to work at 50 hertz, it has to be 20% or so larger. And so we design all of our transformers for that larger uh, size and the lower frequency of 50 hertz, which then if you're using it at 60 hertz, you're getting kind of a free ride. So it's actually the opposite. Everything we design is for the UK and overseas, and then we change it to work over here. So hope that answers your question. And uh, you got a great distributor over there, Kevin. Kevin is, uh, boy, Kevin's a good friend of mine. Kevin, um, uh, he, he, uh, he, he knows his stuff, good guy. Uh, signature sounds. So talk to Kevin, he'll get you hooked up, and we'll take care of you from there. All right, thanks. And tomorrow, I don't know if Chris is coming on or not. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.